Get your ass back here. Don't you dare walk away from me. Samuel! How dare you? How dare you walk into our home with all this bloody armor? You have your mud fiddle stained footprints walking in. You promised me, Sammy. Sammy, look at me. You... You promised me, baby brother. You said you won't go out there and fight anymore. Not until you're fully recovered. You promised me, baby brother. God damn it. You need to rest. You need to recover. Okay? Sammy, please. Fine. I don't want to fight with you, baby brother. Welcome home, Samuel. I've missed you. Your room has been taken care of. I've had it cleaned and prepared. I've been awaiting you. Please, at least take your bloody armor off. Leave it anywhere you like. I'll have someone come clean it up. Go. Clean up. Change. I'll have somebody bring over some food for you. Please, brother. Get some rest, okay? And Samuel? Sammy? Welcome home, baby brother. That was kind of spicy now, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, don't make a noise now, kitten. You don't want to spook Alec and Samuel now, do you? Mm. Hello there, kitty cat. Hmm? <laughs> Which brother am I? Mmm, please, kitten. Don't tell me you're that dumb. Come on, use that little brain of yours. Let's run it down, shall we? Alec is over there, taking care of bloody little Samuel. And seeing as you recently met Neo, and I'm clearly not Neo, then that would make me... <gasps> she thinks, yes, that would make me Zachariah. Mm, there you go, kitten. Oh, please, don't look at me like that. I'm not going to bite you now. I mean, unless you want me to. Oh, yes, 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 that Zachariah. Zachariah the Great. Hmm? No, is that not what they told you about me? <laughs> really? Is that what they called me? Zachariah the Schemer? Hmm. I do like the tone of that one. But you see, I kind of like Zachariah, the Ripper, Zachariah, the Shadow Hand, Zachariah, the Son Born of Fear. So tell me, love, do I live up to your expectations? Hmm? Am I what? They tell you in stories before you go to bed. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not plotting anything. I don't even want anything from you. That's not entirely true. I do just want to talk to you. Yes, and you see, I can't help but notice just how 
curious you are about my brothers and I. And I can't put my thumb on what a pretty little lady like you doing all the way over here. So how about this? Why don't you join me for some tea outside in the rose garden, hmm? Mm, is that a yes then? Well then, I can't wait to see you later, sweetheart. My heart yearns for you, you know that. <laughs> My thoughts are filled of only you and I. Please just wait a bit longer. We'll spend all the time that you want together. Ciao, mi amor. Why, hello there, gorgeous. I am quite amused. You dressed up like that for little old me? Well, now I feel bad for being underdressed for the occasion. <laughs> I guess you're not here for my little games now, are you? Come on, sit. And let's begin, shall we? And have some jasmine tea. And as a... A sign of good faith, I'll let you in on a little secret. Jasmine tea is actually Alex's favorite. You'd mind to keep that in mind. And I have some of these sweets they call cookies. I'm not that fond of them, but they are Neo's favorite. And why do you think I invited you to the Rose Garden? This place is Samuel's favorite place. He's quite delicate with the flowers, if I'm going to be honest. He takes care of the entire place. Yes, it's rather impressive. Now, consider water under the bridge, shall we? Mm. Very well. We shall do it in an order of one to one. You ask me a question, I answer. I ask you a question, you answer. How does that sound? Fair, is it not? Well, I am a gentleman, after all. So go on. Pray do tell. What's something that's on your mind about us? Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. Huh. Well, there are eight of us. I'm not gonna go into their names, simply because names have a lot of power when it comes to us. Yes, and I'd rather not anger my brothers by calling their names in vain. But. There are eight of us to this kingdom. We're all, well, not really blood-related, to say. No, 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 we all come from the same father. I guess that's a twisted way of putting it. You see, each one of us are born for a purpose. And said purpose defines our personalities. We all have a reason to do what we do, to be who we are. We are all immortal in our own rights. Most people think it's a blessing, but frankly, it's nothing but a disgusting curse. So you want to know about us? There you go. I'm sorry, but you ask a very rigged question, so I give you a very vague answer. 
Now it's my turn. Who sent you here? No. I want the honest answer. Who sent you here? Hmm. Your father sent you here. Good. See, simple and straightforward. Your turn. What do I mean by specific natures? Well, each one of us governs over a separate thing. For example, in the simplest example, Samuel, he governs over war. Your question was answered, was it not? Good. Now, my question, what do you want with my family? Mm -hmm. So they just sent you here to fall in love, is that it? Mm. Sure. Next question. What was the great catastrophe that made us all scarred? That's not necessarily a straightforward question. You see, each one of us have our own past, our own drama. To explain that, I need to explain to you one thing. We all are far older when we look. Each one of us are born in different times. For example, Alexander, Alec, he is actually the youngest out of all of us, but the oldest out of all of us. Now that makes no sense. Now let me explain. Alec is the youngest because he turned immortal the youngest. Yes, we were not always immortal. We were actually quite mortal once. We became immortal when we awakened to our, uh, how to say, destiny. That really leaves a bitter taste in my mouth. Alec awakened the youngest. And because of that, he has been an immortal, the oldest. So Alec is both the youngest brother, yet the oldest brother. Now, there is me, who in turn is a middle child. There is Samuel, who is actually the oldest son when it comes to being turned, but the youngest. I'm pretty sure he's only like 3,000 years old, give or take. But he was turned in his late 40s. So, Alex sees him like the baby brother of the house. And he tries his best. Mm. My turn. Why do you wish to grow so close to my brothers? Why do you get close to all of them? Why is it that you care so much? Mm, you're right, I am pushing my luck, that is more than one question. Why is it that you care so much? Ah, don't give me that, we're broken, crap. Many of a woman has walked into this household and seen us. They run in fear, now tell me. You're using my own rules against me. Fair enough. Go on. <sighs> I thought I tried to avoid that question last time. Alright. I can't tell you for every single one of my brothers because to each their own. That is their stories to be told. But I can tell you my tragedy. I'm a middle child. I accepted my immortality when I was around 22. I was homeless. I was living on the streets. I spent my years taking care of my dying mother without knowing who my father was. I spent my days robbing, stealing, and barely surviving. 
Slowly I gave in to the world around me as my mother slowly slipped away. The day she died is the day I gave in to drugs. I couldn't handle it anymore. I let loose. You see, each one of us has this thing inside of us. It calls, it yearns, it breathes. And for years I ignored it. For years I couldn't deal with it because I needed to take care of my mother. But there she was. In my arms. And her final words to me were. Your father would be proud of the man you had become. <laughs> I couldn't take it anymore. Living on the streets, living in poverty, hearing the stories of my father being a great king. I curled in and I gave into that darkness in my soul. And when I woke up, I had slaughtered every man, woman, and child in my hometown. I was laying on a bed of corpses. That's when Alec found me. Apparently he had sensed my awakening. Took me under his wing. Taught me how to use my powers. I defend for myself. And he brought me here. This is where I've been since then. I can't forgive myself enough to go into town to see other people. I see another person and all I see is a corpse laying on the ground. And my hand. Dripping in blood. And that is my story. It is why I am the way I am. Now, I have an ask question to you before I have to leave you. Are you willing to die for us? Because you see, we are very broken. We have a very, very dependent relationship. It's very toxic. We're very codependent. And I can assure you, every single one of us will die for our brothers. So if you really are adamant on staying here, of being a part of this family. Do you have the dedication it takes to die for someone else? And do you have the strength it takes to live for someone else? Now I have spoken too much and the town mayor needs help fixing up the budget. And the god of schemes himself needs to go and teach the humans how to count. So if you will excuse me, love. It was a pleasure seeing you. I hope I can see you again. But this is goodbye for now. Now goodbye, my love. I hope you take care of yourself, now and forever always. Hey there, baby boo. Hi. <laughs> hey there, beautiful. Wow, um, I've been having quite a lot of fun with this so far. Um... I've been trying my best 
to handle world building for all three well technically four of the brothers at a time the one in the video specifically while the others alongside them trying to build each brother up into different personalities and all of that it's been a lot of fun trying to figure out how to do that i do hope you can tell the difference between the brothers i do hope that you can tell the difference between their personalities i know that i can't really get that much of a voice difference um i can but it seems really artificial most of the times and i don't really like that i i prefer to have almost a similar voice each and every single time than have a really artificial off-putting fake voice that's there and it's standing out you know but yeah um so we've met Alec, the housewife of the family, but he has a twisted dark side and turns him into a drunk because he can't deal with his past traumas. We have Neo, the hopeless bookworm who spends his days dreaming of adventure out there in the real world. With a father holding him down, the middle child trying to keep him from going out there into the world. And now, we've met Zachariah. The more flirty, off-putting brother. The brother who knows everything about everyone at all times. And is not afraid to hold that over you. If it means he gets what he wants for his family. And now we have a returning Samuel. Who came home bloodied and bruised. Now I hope you guys look forward for that. That will be the next episode in all of this. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be just doing this only. Until it's done. I've just been enjoying this series a lot. So I've just been doing it back to back. Um, I'm pretty sure today is Saturday. Yes, today is Saturday. So today it was supposed to be a rerun. But I'm not doing a rerun today. So I'll most likely do a rerun tomorrow on Sunday. Um, just in case you don't understand what that means. On the weekends, most of the times it's a Saturday. I take a day off from recording and I rerun one of, and I re-upload or rerun one of my older audios that I post maybe a year ago at the beginning of when I started my account. That gives me just an entire day just to relax and not have to wake up early or stay up late to record. So I most likely post this today and tomorrow on Sunday. Then I'll do a re-upload. I just really really was excited for this episode so i wanted to do it um i broke this episode down into separate parts why did i do that it's because mainly i wanted to separate the the characters the first the first part was alec speaking to samuel so i wanted to have the game character that i'm using to portray as alec at the beginning, that's in part one. In part two, we have a mysterious figure coming and speaking to you. So I wanted to use a separate art for that. And then in part three, you know it's Zachariah and you two are just talking. So I wanted to use a separate art for that to showcase the different tones, the different voice. Eventually, I would like to have like custom art done, but that stuff takes time. And if I'm going to have custom art done, then the amount of content I produce a week is going to be dropped significantly. Like, I can do daily videos, but, like, if I do custom arts, and it's going to take time for an artist to do the art, then I might probably have to go down to maybe two to three videos a week. And at the moment, I don't want to do that, and I can't afford to do that directly, so I'm not going to do that. So, yeah. Um... I had a lot of fun with this. I hope you guys had a lot of fun with this. A lot of you guys have been seeing you really like this idea and have been enjoying it. I am just honestly, I, I just want 
my characters, each and every one of them, to feel different, right? I want them to have their own personalities, their own agendas going on. Like, Alec is all about taking care of the house. That's what he's doing. That's his agenda. He's there to take care of you because you showed up. But his main agenda is the household. Um, Neo, he is curious about you, but his main agenda is his studies. So despite being curious about you, he is going to do what he is doing. Now, we have Zachariah, who is just strictly cautious. He's trying to figure out what your agenda is, etc., etc. So I, I do hope I'm still clear with what I want to do with the characters. I still hope the characters each feel like their own separate persons. And if you have any ideas or any like pointers, please feel free to leave them down below. Um, but yeah, besides from that, I just want to say thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for being here. And did you know that 72.5% of the people listening to this right now aren't subscribed to me? If you've made it this far and you like the content, please leave a like and a comment down below. As for your subscription, I'll be playing you a friendly game of rock, paper, scissors. The rules are simple. I'll go rock, paper, scissor, and then shoot upon shoot and announce what I went. And if I have won, you're not obligated to subscribe to me. If I have lost, you're not obligated to go down in the comment section and let me know. If it's a draw, you're not obligated to meet me here tomorrow to play again. And if I beat you two times in a row, you're not obligated to put a notification button. If I beat you three times in a row, you're not belong to me, mind, the body, and soul. Whew, I did that all in one go. Let's go. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Today I went rock. That means if you went paper, you just won. But if you went scissors, you just lost. Alright guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. And remember, please take care of yourselves. Remember to eat. Two to three times a day in large healthy amounts, six times a day in small healthy amounts. Remember to keep hydrated. Water is great, juice is good, soda is fine. And remember, I believe in love in every single one of you. I know that life may not be perfect. I know it might, might really be hard. I know that you're probably struggling. But I want you to know that, hey, it's going to be alright. All your hard work is going to pay off. And it's going to be okay someday. So keep on holding on until it gets better. And I promise you, it will get better. And remember, you are beautiful and unique in your own special ways. But you are most stunning when you smile. So never stop smiling. And thank you for listening. Thank you for being here. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next audio. Oh, bye bye